Yo, what's awesome, up, guys? Figs for you, and here's a day. So we got some brand new customs, and yeah, I was gonna wait to make a bigger batch. So I am currently working on some other customs. So I was gonna do it all in one big one, but one of these have sold, so and I'm gonna ship it. So I need to record this video and show you guys it when I can. I may as well throw in the other ones. When I'm here, instead of doing just one custom, I just do the other two, and these are all recent ones I made, as long as some other stuff. But yeah, we'll start off first with the accessories. So here we got the G1 Climax trophies, and I got these off 14 figs on Instagram and get yeah, painted by me. And these ones were like um, cheaper than the other one because it was like missing the arm and they wasn't painted or nothing like that. But I did sculpt the arm on. It's not the best, but it definitely works. So here we got G1 trophy here. Then we got another one here. So yeah, happy how they turn out. And then here we got a J White head scan, which I got the cast from Bubbling Squeak, if I can make a focus. And yeah, yeah, Bubbling Squeak J White head cast painted by me. And yeah, super happy how this came out. It's like a promo one with like the um, man bun the hair tied back up. And yeah, I added some like red to where I made this a detailed J White scan. Super happy how this turned out, and this is um, sold as well. This Jay White head scan. And now, next, we're moving into NXT Superstar Dexter Loomis. And yeah, happy how this turned out as well. We've got the decals from Curb Stomp, so we've got all the arm sleeve going on. We've got the TSM head cast. We've got like an Austin torso. Then I used Ambrose legs, and then just a random crotch piece sculpted on the belt. Gave him his white attire. And yeah, as you can see here, all the detail going on to the gloves, and yeah, super happy with this turnout as well. Here we got Dexter Loomis. And moving on to the next one, this is the one which have sold. We've got Wrestle Kingdom 15, Switchblade J White, and J White's one of the hottest superstars in wrestling today. Sports Entertainment, this man is doing amazing in New Japan, and now here I finally made. I made all these attires, I think, apart from like, the white one. So this was the last one. And man, I'm, I am so proud of this one. This came out so clean. All the decals going on. We've got this 3D head scan, which I got from AJ Customs on Instagram. Painted by me. And man, super clean Jay White scan. I did have to use a different torso and paint it up. So didn't have any of the same skin tone. But it came out really well. We've got the sculpted on belt. And also, shout out to Sky King Customs. There's loads of people... Shouting out in this video because they helped, or I seen they do on this, so they had like this and bubbling squeak like a thread. So yeah, this was a pain to do. But yeah, got some mod podge and then you know, um done all the thread and yeah, it did take a while, but it was worth the result. And yeah, we got switchblade here on the boot. Parts for this was just like a you know um Morrison or that kind of torso with some Cesaro arms. Then I used Cesaro. No, uh, Sami Zayn crotch piece and legs with Macho Man lower legs all painted up of course and that's Jay White now moving on we've got Kota Ibushi obviously Kota won the title the Wrestle Kingdom 15 um, both IWGP Intercontinental and World Championship or Heavyweight and yeah this ain't the Atari World Wrestle Kingdom I can't believe Oh, I can't remember which one this is from, but this new one I found on Curb some at the time. And after I ordered them, then he did make the Wrestle Kingdom 15 ones. But yeah, I just continued to make this a tie, and I'm super happy this came out. I think it's a perfect formula. Only difference I would use if I had like an actual shirt mold, which like a Tyson kid or something like that. But I get into the parts I use, and obviously this is a 3D print by 14 figs, and this is spot on for Ibushi, and yeah. Super happy this came out, and I used a Macho Man torso and arms. And then the crotch piece was missed out, and the upper legs, the lower legs were the white Seth Rollins, and then just some plain white um, knee pads. And yeah, super cool coat of Ibushi. And I actually haven't watched the match, but this was the match which took place in the main event on night two was Kota versus Jay White. But potentially make this another coat down the line i think in the wrestle kingdom 15 attire so i did like that attire quite a lot and yeah but that's been these customs and all the parts gone over and the answer that was just austin as well i believe i can't remember with that 
But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below your favorite custom and got loads of um, unboxings coming soon. So stay tuned for that. So if you haven't already, subscribe. If you're new around here, thanks for watching. All that good stuff in the comments down below. And yeah, like the video, subscribe and bye for now.